What inspires change? What motivates us? It's what's inside that moves us. What moves you? Get the Scion story at scion.com. Last night, the legislature passed the fifth version of the FY14 budget 10 to 4, with two Republicans and all Democrats voting yes on the measure. So what's in it? The total revenue projections are at $804.5 million. $120 million is for tax refunds. The governor wanted to only set aside $113 million. There's $11.6 million to restore COLA to its original amount of $1,800 per recipient annually. The governor wanted to pay $1,500 annually. There's $8.4 million given for the Hay Study, which now matches the governor's numbers. And $68 million was given for health insurance, but it also allows the governor to pick between the non-exclusive or the exclusive contract. Sure Appropriations Chairman Senator Ben Pangolinan is hoping that this will be a version of the budget that the governor can sign. Uh, it definitely does reflect, I think, the priorities of the legislature uh, and tempered with some of the issues that the governor wanted us to address. I certainly hope the governor realizes that, takes a look at it uh, from a very practical point in terms of what this budget provides, the authorities presented, the flexibility that he has to meet his uh, uh, responsibilities in managing our government. Two Republicans voted for this latest version of the budget, Senators Tommy Morrison and Aline Yamashita. Although there were some things in the budget she would like to see changed, in the end, Senator Yamashita says she felt it was more important to vote yes in the spirit of compromise. I know uh, that some folks really want to frame it as a, as a party issue, but Clint, honestly, I looked at it as a, as a family's issue. And uh, this is our fifth version of the budget. Um, I paid real close attention to what everybody needed, what everybody wanted, and what the priorities uh, are, and as defined, and the compromise issues. And so I did believe that last night's uh, version was a healthy compromise. However, there were those Republicans who voted against the measure, like Tony Adda, Brant McCready, Mike Limtiaco, and Chris Duenas. Senator Duenas made a motion last night to recess in light of the recent financial crisis at the hospital. The senator says he wanted to see exactly what was going on at the hospital before voting on and passing a budget that might not include the extra funding that the hospital may need. It wasn't as though uh, I wasn't willing to vote yes on the budget with uh, some of the revenues that have been identified and some of the compromises that have been made. Uh, all we asked for was a recess. Uh, twice we asked for a recess and we were ruled out. So my biggest reason reason for not voting for the budget is because I wanted to take a pause and at least see what we could do for the hospital because uh, the, uh, Mr. Ulrich basically said uh, straight out there's no question uh, that they will be back to the legislature uh, the way things are tracking right now.